Hey, what's up everyone, Danny here. So today I'm gonna show you guys a dumbbell only chest workout. So basically what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys six different exercises that you can do. Three of those exercises are gonna be pressing movements and three are gonna be stretching or fly movements. Now it's important to understand that dumbbells versus a barbell is a question of preference. Now, if you use a barbell, you're limited to certain things. Number one, I think dumbbells will get you a better range of motion, especially when you're doing presses. So for example, if I'm using the bench press and I have a barbell, I'm limited in my range of motion in the sense that I can't get lower than where the bar is gonna hit my own chest. Whereas if I'm using dumbbells, I'll be able to stretch much further and I have a better range of motion. The second thing is also the fact that when I'm using a barbell and I'm pressing, once I reach full extension, that's the maximum of range of motion that I have on the bench. Whereas when I'm using the dumbbells now, as I get to the top, I could start to bring the dumbbells together and get a much better contraction for the chest muscles. And lastly, the fact that we're using dumbbell exercises will also enhance our stabilizer muscles. For example, if I'm stronger on one side, let's say the right side, and I'm using the bench press, because one side is gonna be compensating for the other, I'm not gonna really see which side is stronger. One side is always gonna compensate for the other side. Some people it's gonna be the left or the right. Now with the dumbbells, one side is not compensating for the other. So when I'm pressing both dumbbells up, if I'm stronger on one side, the weaker side stays exactly where it is and I'm gonna feel those effects. So using dumbbells will increase the range of motion, will get better contraction at the top of your movements and you'll also incorporate a lot of stabilizing muscles. Now, of course, we can get a lot more functional using dumbbells, such as doing unilateral movements. That means only pressing on one side at a time or alternating sides. You can get a little bit more functional doing certain exercises. But today, I'm gonna keep it basic, basic style of exercises. So I'm gonna show you guys three pressing movements with the dumbbells and three flies, which are stretching movements. So where it's gonna differ is gonna be the angles of where we're gonna attack those presses and flies. So number one is gonna be the flat bench press. So when we're using flat presses, we're also always attacking the middle of the chest. So if it's dumbbell presses and we're flat, that's the middle of the chest. Now, if we wanna hit a little bit more of the upper part of our chest, we wanna lift the bench in an inclined position, such as this. So by using the inclined bench, we now hit a little bit more on the upper chest area. And last but not least, if we wanna hit the lower part of our chest, now you're gonna bring your bench on the opposite. It's gonna be the decline benches. So the decline presses with your dumbbell is gonna really hit the lower part of your chest. Now there's more exercise we can do for the outer and the inner part of our chest, but today we're gonna to keep it basic with flat, incline and declines, presses and flies. Let's get going.
So there you have it, guys. Six exercises using dumbbells for your chest workout. Try them out. Now, what I suggest is do all six exercises in order for two to three sets each. But because there's a lot of volume here, you might want to do it the way I like to do it, is usually out of the three exercises for the presses, choose two. So two exercises for the press and then go in the fly movements and choose one. That should consist your entire chest workout. So as an example, you might do flat dumbbell presses, then incline dumbbell presses, and finish off with a fly movement, incline, flat, or decline, right? So you'll do your sets, maybe four sets of flat bench presses with the dumbbells, then four sets of incline dumbbell presses, and then finish off with four sets of a dumbbell fly movement. So always vary the pressing movements, and depending on if you want to focus a little bit more on the upper chest, lower chest, middle chest, choose the incline or flat or decline, and add two exercises from the presses, and then finish off with a fly movement. That's it, guys. So we hope you enjoyed this video. Hope this was useful. Hey, we'll catch you guys in the next training video. Take care.